Hey, welcome to the Singapore Grand Prix review. This is Red Bet here. This race was a night race held, and this race was full of surprises, especially for the Red Bull team. No Red Bulls on pole. We had Carlos Sainz on pole with the Mercedes boys of George Russell and Lewis Hamilton followed closely behind. As the race is about to begin, Carlos Sainz gets off to a clean start. We had no big incidents in the first few laps of the race. Now, Lewis Hamilton does go off the track early and he's able to rejoin. It seemed the race might have been boring that it would have had the DRS train effect. Would this last the entire race? But enough about me. I hope this hasn't been boring for you. Me? <laughs> Bored? No. Boring? No. Far from it. Yuki Tsunoda had a puncture. He was out of the race early. Great visual of Ocon's on board. These cameras nowadays are beautiful. Top five this point of the race were Carlos Sainz, George Russell, Lando Norris, Lewis Hamilton, and Charles Leclerc. The Red Bulls today are not having great traction. Max Verstappen quoted as saying it felt like driving on ice. This is where the race heats up. Esteban Ocon is out of the race on lap 43. He has a mechanical failure. Oh, and this is when the race gets really exciting. So teams have decisions to make. Alex Albon comes into the pits. Mercedes double stacks George Russell and Lewis Hamilton. Fernando Alonso also pits. And what won't leave you in the pits is our channel. So please like and subscribe so we will bring you more racing videos about the racing world and people in it. Now, Max Verstappen is carving his way up to the field and he's able to pass Lawson for eighth place on lap 51. Charles Leclerc is coming under threat by both Mercedes and at first it's George Russell and George Russell is able to pass Charles Leclerc on lap 53. He's not having the same day as Carlos Sainz. Now at lap 54, he has another problem. Lewis Hamilton is putting him under threat and on lap 54, Lewis Hamilton passes Charles Leclerc for fourth place. Is he even here? Everyone passed him along. Yes, everyone is passing Charles Leclerc today. He doesn't have the performance. Now the Mercedes are like attack dogs right now, chasing down Lando Norris. The top four cars are separated by less than two seconds. It was incredible the last few laps. We weren't sure if the Mercedes were able to pass Lando Norris. The Mercedes are on fresh medium tires, so they're up to the challenge to fight Lando Norris. Now, Carlos Sainz does the most genius thing. He keeps Lando Norris in DRS range so he can fight the Mercedes for him. And then George Russell can't handle the pressure and crashes on the final lap. Carlos Sainz comes home with the win. Lando Norris is second. Lewis Hamilton is third. This was a really close race. Those last few laps were really exciting. After lap 43, Carlos Sainz definitely had control, but we didn't know how the race would end. So he came home first in Singapore. A great drive by Carlos Sainz. Those top four cars were only separated by less than two seconds. Incredible. So this is another wing for Carlos Sainz. He's starting to look like maybe he's gonna be the top dog at Ferrari. Not sure about Charles Leclerc lately. Incredible drive by Carlos Sainz. Also, the McLarens, they got the performance in the second half of the year. Lando Norris, another great drive, he came second. So let me give you some race notes. We had five retirements for the race. Russell, Valtteri Bottas, Ocon, Yuki Tsunoda, and Lance Stroll. 15 cars were able to finish the race. Also, we had Liam Lawson in the AlphaTauri finishing ninth. Max Verstappen was able to recover somewhat and finish fifth. Sergio Perez finished eighth. Now we had the Haas boys, Hulkenberg finished 13th, and Kevin Magnussen finishing the points in 10th. Alex Albon was able to finish 11th. Also, if I'm gonna rate this race, I gotta give it a nine. Those last few laps were some of the most exciting laps of the whole season. We got more racing videos to come in the channel. We got a review of the Japanese Grand Prix. Also, MotoGP was in India. We got that coming too. So please stay tuned to the channel. Like and subscribe. We hope you enjoyed the video. Red Bet, signing off.